Hello, um, so my name is Sophie Ingram. I'm the project manager at Burlington Berry. It's actually just down the road. Um, so we are a 47 hectare farm growing strawberries, raspberries and blackberries. Um, we sell under the Driscoll's label uh, onto the fresh produce market. So 90% of our produce, of our crop, goes to that first class premium grade market. We do have 10% of our crop, which unfortunately doesn't meet the specifications required by the likes of the big supermarkets. But it's perfectly good for human consumption. There's nothing wrong with it besides maybe a slight bruise or you know, a little bit of damage, maybe a caterpillar's had a munch of it, but it's still perfectly good produce. And prior to me being in the project manager role, I was harvest manager for the company. And Part of that role was organising every day the collection of the second or third grade produce that our pickers had removed from the plants and dumping it in a hole in the ground. And it was really disheartening. Um, it was so disheartening actually that at the end of that season I approached the directors and I said, I see an opportunity here. There is no excuse for us to be putting this produce in the ground. To give you an idea of quantity, we produce 200 tonnes of strawberries and 30 tonnes of raspberries last season that we were not able to sell to that first grade market. And most of that, again, went to that hole in the ground. We have made steps to start um, value adding to that and we sell to a, a few local manufacturers around Tasmania who, who complete that value adding process, which is fantastic. But our next stage now is to really um, grow that to ideally be that entire 230 tonnes. In terms of challenges, um, and certainly challenges for, for our business as to why we maybe haven't acted on this sooner, um, it can be daunting. It can be really daunting for a grower to take, who has, you know, is just in that fresh produce um, environment and to take that into the next step of value adding which comes in itself with a whole new level of food safety standards, you know, certifications. For someone or for a grower or a business owner who doesn't already have that knowledge, it, that can be the scariest part of taking that step. Um, as well as that, you know, the financial investment, um, one of the speakers was saying before, you know, they don't, you don't want to go ahead and invest you know, it might be half a mil, a mil into a new facility without knowing that you've got a market for it. So finding markets is a challenge and then, of course, lack of time. I went to the directors of Burlington Berries and said, I know you guys don't have the time to deal with this. You're growing 47 hectares of produce and you're managing 500 people. You need someone to look into this project for you. And so I went full time uh, into this project and I've been working now on it for the last 18 months. What the biggest opportunities are, um, I think we really need to try and empower our growers to feel confident to take that next step. Whether that be through, um, you know, perhaps providing services for them at an affordable cost where they can, uh, you know, gain that knowledge and talk to people about, okay, what is the next step? And I know there are, there are some brilliant people out there who are doing that and, and forums like this. Um, Connecting growers with manufacturers so they don't have to do that value adding themselves. It was great to see Katie and, and her Yumi business, which I'd never heard of before, so I'm really excited and I'm, I'm hoping to talk to her. Um, or potentially, maybe there's an opportunity for someone to offer a contract service who has the technology and who has the skills to be able to take the produce from farmers and turn it into a product on their behalf, under their brand or whatever it may be. Um, so, you know, tying that all together, <coughs> what we're trying to do at Burlington is potentially do that. Um, we're going to be looking at investing in, in some machinery and technology and a plant to process our seconds, but not just for us. We really want to collaborate with the wider community and take berries from other farms and maybe even um, venture into the vegetable space. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much.